Welcome. In this segment, you'll be looking at how to apply different stained glass effects <clears throat> to the dollhouses. I've show, I'll show you um, a former dollhouse that we have done, plus the one we're working on now, which is the um, Real Good Toys Beach Side Bungalow. <clears throat> where I've chosen to look at the upper and lower windows as well as the door. The last segment we looked at doing a stained glass panel for the door and use the three-dimensional Mod Podge to give the water glass effect and chose not to use paint but used permanent markers and I took an orchid from my garden <clears throat> as my um, prototype and made a watercolor painting of that. Then after decided that's what I wanted on the door uh, made a copy of that with my uh, scanner and reduced the size and then added, printed it out on paper and then marked, used the marker. And then I took the acrylic glass, plexiglass, laid it over that, traced it out with the permanent marker, <clears throat> colored in the colors that I wanted with the permanent marker, and then put the three-dimensional Mod Podge on it. <clears throat> As you can see, this is what it looks like from the inside. If you're looking out and I glued to the frame and then this is from the outside looking in you can see the artist loft markers that I used in this project and you can see now it gives you a bit of the water glass effect that I was trying to achieve so that is one fun way to do it <clears throat> but there's also another way and that is with using um, other products and this doesn't show up very well but this is a picture of vellum it's a very translucent type of um, film that you can print in your printer. And I use that. You just slide it in your printer and make a copy. Um, house that we've done before, the Victorian house, <clears throat> I wanted to show the grandchildren one of the stained glass panels that I had created. <clears throat> this is an example of it blown up so you can just see some of the detail. I photocopied this <clears throat> away from this. I reduce the size on the scanner and you can see that it's in the dollhouse with a lot of different other pictures of um, stained glass effect and then I took a picture um, had a picture given to me and I made a copy of it and then painted it and it's of a produce stand and thought that would be perfect to put inside the front window of the kitchen of the dollhouse so reduce the size on the scanner printed it on vellum and then took the um, plexiglass outline as well as the outline of the frame and um, marked it, cut it, and um, put the plexiglass in the window and then put the vellum on top of that and then put the frame around it. Did the same thing with a hibiscus that I had painted on um, watercolor, again on a um, plastic canvas, and then marked it to fit the acrylic glass and put the acrylic glass in the window and then put the vellum picture behind it and put the frame around it so that we could have the um, effect of stained glass and also a representation of paintings that I've done to share with the grandchildren so as time goes on they will have a little bit of uh, our memory and some of the things that I've created to share with them. <clears throat> 